All right, today I'm gonna make some glycerol stocks. So we need a couple of things. This is our minus 80 freezer. This keeps things very cold, minus 80 degrees Celsius. Uh, if you mix cell cultures with glycerol, then they cannot freeze and the cells can survive. So cells normally die in freezers because ice crystals grow inside of them and break the cell walls. But if you add glycerol, it lowers the freezing temperature and the cells can survive. So we need a plate, some Petri dishes to grow them on. So here's some YPD. Take a few of these out. Do three. We'll label our plates. Uh, these are fresh out of the fridge, so they're cold and they get condensation. So let's do this quick. YPD. It's the ninth, I believe. This will be G. Four, Z4. Four. So glycerol stocks are great, but you can't use glycerol stocks directly. Uh, you need um, to streak them out on petri dishes so that you get individual colonies. And then from those individual colonies, you can start overnight cultures. So here's our minus 80 freezer. Hopefully you can see that all right. Somebody has left things in there. That's cool. Um, I think it's this box. Yep. Let's take this whole box. Should stay cold. I'm gonna do this pretty quick. So, we want things to stay sterile, so we have this alcohol lamp. We'll light that up. Um, I like using these tips. You don't need to use pipette tips, um, but these tips don't fit any of our pipettes. So I can use them for streaking cultures. All right, here's G4. So you can see it's gonna be really viscous, but not frozen. So it's like, it's like syrup. See that? This is G4. So we just wanna do a zigzag across, just like that. And then Z4. I'll dip it in. Get a little bit of the syrup on there. And streak it out. So you do need to be careful and know uh, what kind of media you need to plate on. So you should label your tubes um, very carefully. I know these strains are not carrying any plasmids or anything. So we can just put them on non-selective YPD. You can also do streaks like this, so whichever is more convenient. Um, but you should get pretty good single colonies if you streak out like this. Here's the 12. That one. Z12. All right, so we can cap that. Let's put this back in the freezer first. We don't want to let this thaw very much. The freeze thaw cycles are probably kind of bad for the glycerol stocks. I've never noticed an issue with freezing and thawing glycerol stocks, but better safe than sorry. That goes back away. And uh, you know, these are sort of rough and ready streak plates and, it, and it's not a guarantee that I'm gonna get individual colonies with the way that I did this, but it should be pretty good. Really, when you're doing streak plates, it should look something like this. So you'll have you know, your plate like this, 
you should get a new petri dish to dip into your cell or your glycerol stock or whatever and do a zigzag and then rotate the plate get a new tip or a new you know wooden toothpick or whatever pull from wherever you streaked before do a zigzag like that throw that tip or toothpick away get a new one streak like this and you can do this three or four times and what happens is each time you streak you're diluting the cells but I, I'm I've used these glycerol stocks a lot and I'm pretty sure that just that one streak will get us to single colonies if I had kept going all of these or these two extra streaks wouldn't have done anything anyway um, so anyway these single streaks should be enough uh, put the date on there label them this is our 30 Celsius incubator Ooh, someone's growing something. Um, so I'll just put that in there for tomorrow. That's it. That's how you restreak glycerol stocks. If you uh, have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching. Bye. One last thing. Let me prove to you that I'm not crazy and that we'll get single colonies. Uh, so these are some streak plates that I made. These are actually the exact same strains but they've been in the fridge for a long time and that's why I'm making new ones. So there's, you know, G12 and Z12. And I've used some of the colonies and they've grown a bunch. So that's why I'm making new ones. But anyway, I did the exact same streaking method. You see I was getting individual colonies. But anyway, that's it, bye.